Could this be the Juan Guaido season 2 finale? Within the last few days, Colombian and American mercenaries landed on the coast of Venezuela, apparently got into a battle with the Venezuelan military, with eight of them dying, and you know, they were obviously on some very shady anti-Maduro, anti-Venezuelan government business. And it looks like they were actually contracted by Juan Guaido himself. Maduro has been holding press conferences about it, showing off their American passports, etc. And it looks like the owner of the mercenary company, Silver Corp USA, has confirmed that these guys are indeed in his employment, and he's implicated Juan Guaido in the plot. And of course, Silver Corp USA is based in Florida. Yep. So it seems legit. I find a few things kinda weird about the story though. Like, if you're gonna literally infiltrate a country by boat to assassinate its president, why would you carry your actual real passport with you? It's not like you need it, like, did you plan to enter the country legally and leave it legally? Why do you need it? What's going on? Are you gonna, like, get money from Western Union? What? But honestly, they seem dumb and incompetent enough that I can believe it. There's a contract that's been circulating around on social media and stuff. I don't actually know where it's from originally. It seems weird to me that it would start making the rounds in the same week where these guys were captured. Like, where is it actually from initially? Don't tell me that these guys are actually like, carrying the mercenary contract with them or something. What the hell? It seems like something that should be hidden away somewhere. Though honestly, I can believe it because these people have proven themselves to be incredibly dumb time and time again, and this really fits neatly into all of their schemes. I mean, the contract says that the mercenary company will be paid in barrels of oil, which Guaido, whose signature is on the contract by the way, does not control the production or distribution of. So payment is contingent on Guaido coming into power, I guess? Seems like they had way too much faith in the guy. Like, did they not look at the last couple of years to see that he's just a total failure in every respect and they're never gonna get their money? The contract itself also looks really legit. Like, really legit. If it's a forgery, it's a perfect one. It's also weird that, like, they would contract foreign mercenaries for this in the first place. Was there literally no one in Venezuela itself that they could hire? who would be able to carry out a mission like this without the suspicion, without the very weird means of entry, you know. Not even a couple dozen guys, I mean, they paid a hundred million dollars and the best they got was like, a really crappy little amphibian invasion? Does trying to invade the country in speedboats to assassinate the president really seem like a logical idea when you could just like, pay people off in the army? No, it doesn't. It's incredibly dumb, honestly. Like, trying to get a bunch of gringos and Colombians to Caracas to take Maduro out, was that the plan? Like, they wouldn't raise suspicion and get caught long before then, as they did. I think what this shows is that they can't get anyone in the army on their side anymore. Like, at all. After last year's failed coup attempt, where only a few dozen guys joined up and were quickly dispatched by loyal military. This could be the explosive finale to Juan Guaido Season 2. Like, how does this genius even come back from this? It's a total clown show. I honestly can't believe that the opposition themselves haven't tried to replace him yet. So yeah, I don't know what to think of this, but honestly, these people are so incredibly stupid that I can believe the official story, even though I'm usually pretty skeptical of Maduro. The fact that there's actual experienced American mercenaries among the accused, and there's a mercenary company in Florida openly saying that Juan Guaido contracted them for this. That's a bit too elaborate for Maduro, I think. What do you guys think? Why don't you leave a comment down there? You know, really have a nice debate with everyone about it. You know, really get into it. Leave lots of comments, back and forth arguments. Lots of these comments so that my video gets noticed by the algorithm. Yeah, see ya.